Rotan is actually 32 miles off the coast of Honduras. We're a little island, a chain of islands in the Bay of Honduras. Utila, Guanaja, Cayos Cochinos, and Roatan is in the middle. I've heard a lot of people call it the gem of the Caribbean because it's long, narrow, and uh, green. You have beautiful beaches, and also it's affordable. Roatan, unlike a lot of the other islands in the Caribbean, is a very mountainous island. And it's surrounded by the second largest barrier reef in the world. So we have a lot of different rainforests, birds, and animals that a lot of other tropical islands don't have because they're flat. What makes it really special is it, there's a natural state of um, being, you know, that freedom. Being able to be who you are and whenever you're ready to be that person. There are a variety of things to do on the island. Number one, scuba diving. You know, we have iguana parks, uh, underwater museums, um, canopy tours, uh, you know, tours of the island. You can go on a glass bottom boat. You can go diving, snorkeling, parasailing. You can horseback ride, you know, right on the beach. For those who like golfing, there's a new golf course here on the island now. There's also the fishing. And fishing here is, I mean, literally, you jump in your boat, five minutes you're outside the reef, you, you know, you can start letting your lines out. Most parts of the U.S., Florida, Texas, people have to run 60 to 70 miles out from where they start to get into 1,000 or 1,500 feet of water. Here, we can get into 2,000 feet of water in five minutes. The, the biggest thing with fishing here is that you can get in the boat and you're on the fishing grounds. And I think that's why it's awesome. Also, the, the different varieties of fish you could catch. You could catch, uh, you know, wahoo, kingfish, tuna, mahi-mahi. I would say the fishing here is on par with some of the top destinations in the world. As far as variety and species that you, you can catch in the distance that you have to actually travel. That, that's something pretty unique. I personally have had it where I've caught a blue marlin here within 15 minutes of fishing. Welcome to the 15th anniversary International Fishing Tournament of Rotten. Please give an applause to the captain and crew of the Valeria vessel. Roatan's Fishing Tournament is the same time every year for the 15th of September, which is Honduran Independence Day. We have a huge carnival in West End Town. The fishing tournament is smack dab in the middle of the carnival, so you have children, older people, families, everybody walking the streets, all kind of local foods, drinks, live music, and the fishing tournament right in the middle of it. It makes for a spectacular vacation. The catch and release has been a great thing. Now, by making this move to full catch and release and being members of the IGFA and the Billfish Foundation, we're now internationally known and we're working with a lot of people to conserve and preserve the species that we're enjoying so much every year. Well, it's just part of a global movement, you know, towards preserving the billfish species. It's incredible uh, how well it's worked for us. We've gone from catching you know, a couple of marlin on a tournament, they're releasing, you know, 20 odd and two days of fishing. And I think it's a direct effect of, uh, you know, enforcing the catch and release. And our friends uh, in the neighborhood and the region have also enforced it, and they've seen great results as well. The World Ten International Fishing Tournament has just moved up in the world. We're a destination for the IGFA, International Game Fishing Association. We're also members of the Billfish Foundation, which has finally started a program here where we're catching marlin, tagging them, and releasing them for data later on to find out the migratory tracks. 
In the last few years, we found that Roatan is a breeding ground, a, a nesting area for marlin especially. So we've been learning a lot, improving a lot, and trying to get many, many more um, experienced fishermen that have a love and a passion for the sport that we do. How do you get here? It's a lot easier getting here now than it was before. Well, getting here is actually quite easy. Um, we have Delta and United Airlines that fly weekly from the U.S. to Rotan. So getting here from the U.S. is pretty much just a two hour and a half flight. And you're here. 20 minutes and then you're to the beach from the airport. West Bay Beach geographically is one of the nicest naturally made beaches that you can find in the Caribbean. Because of its geographical position on the island, it's at the western tip of the island, which is protected from most of the wind and waves. You know, it's breathtaking because you get to party alongside the, the green crystal ocean. Uh, you get little shops here and there, bars everywhere, some restaurants, and people are out, they're walking around, you know, it's, and everyone's just happy to be there. Well, Roatan has a vast amount of accommodations. You can go from renting a hammock on the beach to renting a 10-bedroom home for several thousand dollars a week. We have condos, we have cabins, hotels, rental cars, transportation, taxis, buses, all of that is at your fingertips and very accessible to everybody. There's not a lot of people actually heard of Rotan. You know, we've just been become more known now in the past years due to the cruise ships coming in. You get more people actually coming here and they're seeing it and they're realizing, you know, how untouched the island is so far. I mean, you, you have people that didn't even know we existed. I would say Roatan is one of the last frontiers that you have in the Caribbean that you can find a lot of local heritage, a lot of local influence from past um, civilizations and it gives you a very cultural feel when you go from community to community in the island and it's not just tourism. We're still a virgin island. You know, um, we haven't been discovered by, by everyone in the world. And even though the exposure every day is bigger and we're out there more and more each time, I think it's like now is the time to come in and really see what Rotan is. Because it will keep growing, but now is the time to catch it and enjoy all its nature at its best. This is the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Tucked away on the Western Caribbean island of Roatan is a legendary tropical wonderland with pristine beaches and sparkling turquoise waters. Our name is Anthony Ski Resort. It's very tranquil. It's just like we found it 45 years ago. Here, wooden bungalows perch above a tranquil lagoon, offer a sense of peaceful disconnection from everyday life. Uh, it's very peaceful. And it feels really intimate. I actually wish we could sleep out here. <laughs> I wish we could live here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every time I've come back over the past uh, seven years, I've seen familiar faces. I mean, I got hugs at the airport. They just really make you feel like family. For over 45 years, this family-run paradise has been home to travelers in search of unspoiled waters and natural adventure in all its forms. We have no TVs in our room, and we have no phone. We do have the Wi-Fi because obviously you can't live without it. It's nice to be connected, but man, I do not miss the television. We literally have probably 75-80% of repeat guests who's been coming here from two years to 35 years. And one of the things they do like is the tranquility of no TV. When we come here, my wife talked to me more. You know, I have more attention from my husband. So it is peaceful. 
One of the big things that Rattan have is probably one of the only islands where we can guarantee diving 365 days a year. Why? Because if it gets rough on this side, we could take people on the other side. This is our first trip here, but it certainly won't be our last. We saw uh, crabs, we saw moray, we saw turtles. The coral is beautiful down coral there. Coral stunning. I can't think of a dive destination anywhere in the world uh, that has the amount of equipment that we have. I like the boats. Uh, I mean, they're well equipped, clean, nice. Looks like they got good platforms. We're a five-star operation, and we go any way from a basic diver to an instructor. We're probably the only operation that I can think of that have an assigned snorkel boat. Safety is very, very important. Our doctor has been to hyperbaric medicine classes in Spain, so we take care of people here and we do it, you know, in a very professional way. The diving is literally within sight of your front door out over the, over the water there on the key. I'll be diving here as, uh, as long as I can dive. Anthony's Key has been at the forefront of the human dolphin experience for decades. A rod and institute for marine sciences is dedicated to bringing you as close as possible to these amazing mammals in their natural open water habitat. Well, our family scuba dives and we typically try to find an island where our youngest daughter who can't dive yet can go to camps. That was amazing. It's a wonderful experience for the kids. I like the training and actually getting in the water with the dolphins. All of our programs are based in education, but obviously in order to educate people, you need to entertain them as well. My favorite part is uh, feeding the dolphins. We have trainer for a day, and then we can even do a week-long program for people that really want to get in there and try their hand at training. Oh, it's been fantastic uh, in every dimension. And this is one of the few places in the world we can do this. And then there's the dive that we do, which is about 45 minutes out in the open ocean. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Our open water program is one of the things we're most proud of. When the dolphin comes by, he really looks at you. You really get a feeling he's checking you out. Oh, that's pretty spectacular. They nudge you for attention when they want it. All these programs are very unique in the fact that the dolphins are allowed to be themselves and we become just part of the scenery and are lucky enough to witness it. That's their domain and you get to be in it for a little while and that's, that's pretty cool. Everybody loves dolphins. Yes, they do. Everybody. Whether diving through a coral garden or getting a massage in our jungle spa, Anthony's Key Resort is an all-inclusive island retreat where you can do as little as you like or as much as you want. How the Caribbean used to be to what it is today is a big difference. And Anthony's Key hasn't changed a minute, you know, from the day it was started. Anthony's Key Resort, a Caribbean tradition since 1968. It's not just a vacation, it's an experience. I put my entire heart and soul in the resort. I love this place. Hopefully, you know, it'll never change. I hope, you know, you can go anywhere and stay in a high rise. It's pretty hard to find too many of these places anymore. Anthony Ski Resort in the Bay Islands of the Western Caribbean. Do you like what you're seeing on the Roatan Travel Network? So do most of the visitors to the island. Through local TV and our online channel, RTN enables visitors to find lots of great things to see, do, and buy while they're here or planning their trip to Roatan. I loved it because I'm here on vacation and I wanted to know what I could do, where I could take them. So I turned on the TV and boom, there was my answer. From restaurants and real estate to dive shops and hotels, RTN offers a unique, effective and inexpensive way for businesses to reach potential customers through the most powerful advertising medium on the island, television. We saw that they had the refuge, it, it was a no brand. Literally that was the reason that we booked the cruise we booked. And you get to use the video for all your other marketing needs as well. Call or email today 
and we'll show you how the Roatan Travel Network can help your business grow. You never know if what you read is what you get, but this particular one actually exceeded our expectations. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Hi guys, welcome to Top Sights Roatan. I'm Ari from Roatan Divers and today we'll be taking you to the Aguila Wreck. The Aguila Wreck is located outside of Sandy Bay on the northwest coast of Roatan. It was sunk as an artificial reef in 1997 and broke into three parts in 1998 when Hurricane Mitch hit. That's the wreck that we see today. This wreck is perfect for wreck novices and advanced divers alike because it generally has good visibility and is located next to a reef which means lots of sea life. Alright guys, let's go diving! While the Aguila is a dive attraction in and of itself, part of its appeal comes from the wildlife that lives on and around the wreck. Don't forget to check out the sand next to the wreck where you can see fields of garden eels feeding in the current and blue tangs and goatfish sifting through the sand for their next meal. Aguila is also famous for the giant black groupers that have made this area their home. The groupers are definitely not shy. The top of the Aguila's bow is at 80 feet, making it the perfect midway point to your dive. The Aguila is also home to big green mores. The Aguila's Mast is also home to a variety of macro critters like yellow line arrow crabs, fireworms, cleaner shrimp, and Christmas tree worms. After spending some time on the wreck, it's time to head to the reef. Guess who followed us over here?
Looks like it's not just the moray eel that followed us to the reef. The reef next to the Aguila is beautiful, teeming with soft coral and impressive schools of fish. The reef comes up very shallow so you can see amazing things even on your safety stop. What a way to end a dive. I hope you guys enjoyed the wreck. I'm Ari from Roton Divers and we'll see you next time on Top Sites Roton. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Hidden away on the Western Caribbean island of Roatan is Pristine Bay, a 405-acre golf resort and development featuring a privileged collection of charming villas available for purchase, long-term rental, or hotel stays for business or pleasure. The views are breathtaking. It is luxurious but still informal. You feel very secluded and remote, but it was so convenient to get here and so easy and accessible. Amenities at Pristine Bay include a 25,000 square foot clubhouse, private beach, two level infinity edge pool, a full service aquatic center, tennis courts, five on-premises restaurants, and a future spa. Oh my gosh, this place is awesome. Each villa at Pristine Bay offers a tropical country club lifestyle with spectacular golf course and ocean views from private decks and pools. The units are built with such solid construction, you never hear a neighbor. This is my dream home. Everything is perfect. And it's exactly the way you describe it and the way you want it, and that's how it gets done. You walk into the bedroom and it's so beautiful you never want to leave. You can see the ocean from, I think, pretty much every room. Very homey feeling and a private infinity pool and a putting green. All the things that I like. It's very hard for me to leave the property because I'm so relaxed here. The centerpiece of Pristine Bay is the Black Pearl, Roatan's only 18-hole championship golf course, designed by Pete Dye. So the golf course is one of the top golf courses I've ever played. I get on Google Earth and, and zoom on down and say, there's the only course, look right there, that's where my house is going. <laughs> Visit us at Pristine Bay and see for yourself why this is a resort community you'll never want to leave. I can't imagine someone who would come and not want to stay. Blue Harbor Tropical Arboretum is 146 acres uh, that we would like to call a, a tropical Eden. We have a, a hydroponics operation that produces 70,000 heads of lettuce along with 11 different kinds of herbs. We have a fruit orchard that we uh, have as a display of all kinds of tropical fruits and flowers. Alone, there's uh, almost 50 different kinds of haliconias. There's uh, 10 or 15 different kinds of gingers and a lot of orchids from all over the world. What makes it special is no other conservatory in the Caribbean for people to come visit and see over 250 plants from around the world. We have nature hikes, we have bird watching, we have animals that you can see, indigenous parrots and the iguanas and watusas and our family of Muscovy ducks. All kinds of tilapia, turtles, and uh, herons that come to visit us all the time. We have a variety of tour opportunities, both here on the property and in conjunction with other sites on the island. 
But the ones here on the property include a self-guided tour. We have a horticulturalist guided tour where we have a guide that will take you around and show you and explain to you, let's answer you the questions about our particular flowers, plants, and palms. We have a bird watching tour, a hiking opportunity. For a guy who grew up in West Texas, this whole place just kind of bowls me over. It's so beautiful. Blue Harbor Tropical Arboretum is located on Mudhole Road. We're about uh, 12 minutes from West End, uh, 8 minutes from uh, Coxon Hole and the uh, Port of Roy Tan. It's easy to find out about uh, Blue Harbor. You can go to our website, blueharbortropicalarboretum.com. You can uh, look us up on tripadvisor.com. We're the highest rated man-made attraction on the island. And you can uh, give us a phone call that's uh, right off our webpage. We invite you to come visit and enjoy Roy Tan's unique tropical arboretum. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Honduras is the second largest country in Central America, and the Bay Islands are Honduras' number one tourist attraction. Referred to as the hidden jewels of the Caribbean, the Bay Islands consist of three major islands, Roatan, Guanaja, and Utila. For many years, these islands have been considered one of the Caribbean's finest diving destinations. More recently, visitors have been attracted to the Bay Islands' tropical environment, sandy beaches, friendly local people, and its unique Caribbean culture. For the next 10 days, I'm going to explore Roatan, and after that, I will visit the mainland of Honduras. At 32 miles long and 1 to 3 miles wide, Roatan is the largest of the Bay Islands. My travels will begin on Roatan's western end at the distinctive West Bay Beach. Following that, I will slowly head east to explore secluded beachfronts and the island's history and culture. During my travels, I will speak with locals and expats, divers and business owners in an effort to get a true taste of Roatan. When visiting Roatan, you will either fly into the Roatan International Airport or you will come by ferry from La Ceiba. Flights from Europe can connect in the States with various airlines that fly directly into Roatan. Also, three airlines service the Bay Island chain from major Honduran cities. As you can tell, I have collected my luggage and I'm ready to go. Hi, my name is Ayla and this is my very first time in Roatan, Honduras. I'm very excited to share this experience with you, so let's go! Welcome to Roatan, this is the Bay Island. Welcome to Roatan, this is the Bay Island. Welcome to Roatan, this is the Bay Island. West Bay Beach is regarded as one of the best beaches in the Caribbean. The beach has powdery white sand, palm and coconut trees, as well as pristine turquoise blue waters. I'm going to be staying at Las Rocas Resort on West Bay Beach. about West Bay Beach is the Marine Reserve. The reef is sometimes as close as 30 feet from shoreline. 
I picked up some snorkeling gear because that's one of the easiest ways to explore the marine park. Rotan's coral reef is part of the second largest reef system in the world, supporting the majority of the coral and fish species found in the Caribbean. If you're interested in seeing the Caribbean's rich marine life, this is the place to come. The water here is quite shallow, making it easy for people to learn how to snorkel. This also makes it easy for people to harm the reef. One must remember this is a marine park and touching the reef damages the fragile ecosystem. There are many ways to get around Rotan, and one of them is by taxi, whether it is on land or water. Water taxis run from West Bay Beach to the West End, and I'm told it's simple. Just walk to the end of the dock and wave to a passing boat, and if it's a taxi, it will come and pick me up. Be sure to check the price before getting into any taxi. It's better to know beforehand than to be surprised later. This is West End. Generally known as a must-see, it is one of the most popular stops along the Central American Backpackers Trail. Along the beachfront road, you will find a stretch of hotels, dive shops, restaurants, bars, and gift shops. During the day, people relax on the beach, scuba dive, and live the Caribbean lifestyle to its fullest. As night falls, the restaurants and bars fill up with locals and international travelers as they socialize over food and drink. Today is going to be a full day. Rotan's reef is obviously phenomenal, so I've decided it's time to take a closer look. Hi. Hi. I'm Mal. Isla, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Western Divers. Thank you. I'm very excited. Going up. Mm -hmm. Any decent. Here's the day's plan. Some study of diving and dive safety, and then if I pass the test, I can go diving with my instructor this afternoon. Okay. if you're okay. If I ask Roatan is an island paradise located in the Caribbean Sea of the coast of Honduras. Welcome to the island paradise. Hope you like it here, say it's real nice. Welcome to the island paradise. Eat banana with your beans and rice. All around, be thankful for what you found. Come join us and let's make a joyful sound. Now's the time to party with we friends, hoping that the good times never end. Now's the time to party with we friends, hoping that the good times never end. Smiling faces to embrace, lovely nature. Don't worry, take Bob's advice. You feel alright now, alright. You feel alright now, feel high. You feel alright now. What an amazing day learning to dive. They say you never forget your first dive, and I'm sure it's true. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Hi, I'm Grace from Subway Water Sports, and today I'm going to teach you how to discover scuba. 
Roatan is home to the second largest living coral reef on the planet, and the best way for you to see it up close is by scuba diving. Not certified? No problem. Discover Scuba is an entry-level PADI certified class offered by Subway Water Sports, which will get you into scuba gear and underwater for your first dive in just two hours. The class is easy, fun, and totally safe. A PADI certified instructor will take you through a brief introduction on the basics of scuba diving, and then guide you through an open water checkout. After that, it's a quick trip to the reef, where you will go scuba diving in one of the most beautiful coral gardens on Earth. Subway Water Sports Discover Scuba is the perfect solution for people who want to try scuba but don't have time for the full certification course. We train divers from ages 10 and up and classes take place in the protected waters of one of Roatan's leading attractions, Little French Key. Dive into another dimension and see for yourself why the most beautiful views on Roatan are underwater. Mayan Princess is a great spot to stay, you know, amazing beaches, breathtaking views, just awesome food, accommodation is first class, a great staff, it's a small property that's even considered a boutique in many other areas of the Caribbean. And being only 59 rooms and having more than 90 employees gives a very personalized service to our guests. In case of Sirenas, being part of Mayan Princess, gives all those extra amenities that usually you do not find in small hotels. Mayan Princess is right in the heart of West Bay Beach in the west uh, side of the island, 20 minutes away from the International Airport. Many, many people have considered West Bay Beach to be one of the top beaches of the world, and definitely finding ourselves every day here, trust me, I don't get bored of seeing it. We've got lots of facilities and amenities. We've got a IDC five-star dive resort, we have a full spa, a gift shop, two conference rooms, four restaurants, and a 250-foot lagoon pool, and an additional 80-foot pool in the Sierra. Well, here in the resort, we have full-time tour activity coordinator that can cater any kind of activity you want, from sailing, canopies, kayaking, fishing tours, diving, snorkeling, you name it. For weddings, we've got a wedding coordinator on premises. We've got the great venue, that's the Beach Club San Simon. That's basically the best spot to get married on West Bay Beach. Mayan Princess has a bit of everything. We could create packages from airfare included from any part of the world. We do weekend, weekday, week-long packages specifically to what our guests actually need. Well, the all-inclusive is definitely the best in the country. It includes three daily meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, it could be buffet or a la carte, premium drinks from alcoholic and non-alcoholic, and transfers from the airport. The best way to book a holiday with us, uh, you can log on to our website, mindprincess.com, or call us into your 1-800 number, or you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. You can bring the Roatan Travel Network home with you and share it with your friends. Just log on to RoatanTravelNetwork.com and take your vacation with you. Welcome to the island. My last stop for today is the Sherman Iguana Preserve. Over the past decade or two, the iguanas have been in steady decline at Roten due to them being a local delicacy. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. You Gail. too. Isla, how are you? Fine. Well, you're here at the Sherman Arches Iguana Farm, and we can walk right over here so you can feed them. Okay, terrific. It is important to stop at the iguana farm either at lunch or late in the afternoon. At lunch, the arches feed the iguanas, and if you would like, you can help. the hungry ones. Otherwise, it is late afternoon heat that brings out all the iguanas from their homes. So Gail, can you tell me a bit about the preserve and how it started and what you guys do here? Yes, um, well here at the iguana farm, uh, it started 24 years ago. Uh, my father started by one iguana and he started feeding them and there were more and more coming every day.
On the preserve on your farm, altogether, how many iguanas do you have? There's about 3,500. So far, everything has been under control. My dad's been taking good care of the animals, and I think it's been a good success and a big help to the island and the wildlife. So it's it's helping and preventing them basically from, from being extinction. extinct, yes. right? This link over here is going to be your safety line. We'll hook it and hook it a lot of time on the cable and on the platform. Don't do it by yourself. Okay. That's the only rule that we have. So remember, go breaking, go breaking. After a week on the island, I need to catch up on some business. I need to check my email, visit the post office, and go to the bank, and I'm told all of this can be done in Cox and Hole. Founded in 1835, Cox and Hole was established when several families moved to Roatan from the Cayman Islands. The name Coxon comes from the mysterious buccaneer Captain John Coxon, who lived on Rotan from 1687 to 1697. A relatively small town, Coxon Hole is one of the island's main commercial centers. There are several small stores lining the streets, as well as a large dock for incoming cruise ships. Walking through the streets of Roatan, you can hear both the colorful accent of Caribbean English as well as a little Spanish. But English is Roatan's primary language and it's all you need to get around. morning and I'm at the airport again, not to leave Roatan, but to get a unique view of the island. Yes. Okay. Starting at $50 per person, Roatan Air Charter offers a bird's eye view of Roatan and the Bay Islands, as well as a charter flights from one island to the next. It is best to fly early in the morning or later in the afternoon as you may catch either a magnificent sunrise or sunset. After spending several days on the island, it is amazing to see it from the air. It's a whole new perspective.
You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Turquoise Bay Dive and Beach Resort is a Caribbean-style boutique resort designed to provide a tranquil, friendly environment for its guests. When people arrive, they will discover something they weren't expecting. It's like an oasis in the middle of nowhere. The beach is beautiful. Flowers are beautiful. The sounds here. Just that now, that right there is great. Totally spoiled here. The heart of Turquoise Bay is a private compound with white sand beaches, valet dive center, swimming pool, and overwater palapa. It's incredible. This precious blue lagoon we have in here, the snorkeling out and diving out there. We just sit by the pool, you know, enjoy the breeze, enjoy doing nothing. We are sun worshippers, so we are enjoying the, uh, the view, the relaxation, and the beach. It's right to drink. Our staff does whatever they need to to make people happy. Turquoise Bay Dive and Beach Resort features one and two bedroom residences designed with relaxation and comfort in mind. Accommodations are fantastic. The food is wonderful. I love the variety and really honestly I'm not cooking it so it <laughs> makes it super good. Turquoise Bay is a certified Patty 5 Star Dive Resort offering valet service, high quality equipment, and a wide range of off the beaten path dive sites. We are divers, we come for the dive, and this was one of the places that everyone recommended. We're basically the only dive shop on the side of the island, so we get to go a lot of spots that a lot of people don't get to go to. What's cool about here is that there's only you and like five other people diving. Valet diving is certainly the way to go. People when they check in, they just leave their stuff on their locker, making sure that guests don't have to deal with all that trouble of carrying stuff back and forth. They do everything for you, you can't beat that. Well, yeah, this is about as much work as we have to do. Definitely is a place to come back to. Turquoise Bay Dive and Beach Resort. Come discover moments that will take your breath away. Rotan's a great place to live because of the people here. And whether that's the local islanders or the people who choose to live here, it's, a, it's an awesome place. The island lifestyle in Rotan's unique. We have a little bit of Latin culture here and a little bit of English culture, which makes for a real nice mix and we all seem to get along here. Well, the cost of living here is quite low compared to other places in the Caribbean. So a couple can live well on $2,000 a month. Uh, we have a pretty good health care system for minor issues. We have good clinics. Uh, and of course, just a few miles away on the mainland, we have excellent world-class hospitals. We have three major grocery stores, and products come from the States, the mainland, and also from Europe. So it's very first world, and Eldon's looks almost exactly like a Safeway in the United States. It's a wonderful time to buy property on Roatan because prices haven't been this low in years. You can find a little shack on the beach, or you can find a mansion. Condos are very popular on Roatan because they're such a turnkey solution and you can just lock them up and leave. Many people choose to build. Home site prices are quite low right now. It's a real opportunity to get in and build a home that you've always dreamed of. And it's very, very similar to buying property in the U.S. Well, we like to think Roatan Life has the best network to support our buyers. And we've been in business for over 10 years and, and have served hundreds of clients. Our clients are very supportive of our company because when the sale's over, it doesn't mean the relationship is over. As part of Roatan Life, we have a property management division, which is the largest company of that type on the island. So we're ready to take care of your needs there as well. My name's Steve Haz, and I'm one of the partners of Roatan Life. You can always get me on the phone, 9959-8033, or email steve at roatanlife.com. The one piece of advice I'd give somebody who wants to move here is to be flexible. I mean, we're living in the Caribbean. Things happen slower. Be prepared for that. Hi, I'm Teresha from Island Crepery and Cafe in French Harbor. Welcome to the island. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. In an effort to see the rest of the island, I have rented a moped and I'm driving east. If you are traveling with more than just yourself, you can rent a car or take a taxi tour. 
I'm taking Rotan's main highway, the paved two-lane road that winds along West Bay Ridge, which runs down the center of the island. When driving in Rotan, you must be careful. Taxis regularly stop in the middle of the road to pick up passengers. Locals walk and bike right on the pavement, and you may run into grazing cattle or horses. Oak Ridge is a small town on the southeast shore of Rotan. It has about 5,000 inhabitants, most of whom are of English descent. Oak Ridge's existence is directly linked with the harbor. Historically, it was a refuge for pirate ships on the run from Spanish warships. After that, it was the center of Rotan's boat building industry and now serves as home to a fishing fleet and a processing plant. While many people do not take the time to visit Oak Ridge, it is really worth stopping by. The locals are welcoming and friendly, it has several lesser known dive sites and an extensive mangrove forest which I am going to tour by boat. According to legend, world famous pirate Henry Morgan spent a little time on Roatan. While he was here, he and his crew used the mangrove forests of Oak Ridge as a hiding place for their ships. Hi, how are you? So we're going to the mangroves, alright let's go. The mangroves are an important part of any island's coastal environment. They protect the fragile coastline from rough seas and storms, and their root systems, both above and below the water, protect breeding fish, crustaceans, and other marine species. The water looks very dark, but I'm told it's due to a substance called tannin, which the mangrove's bark secretes. So I'm told that this passage right here is where Captain Morgan and his crew cut through the mangrove forest so they can hide out and wait for the unsuspecting voyagers so they can go out there and loot their ships. When looking for information about Rotan's history, you may find it difficult to get a complete picture. What is clear, however, is that Rotan's history is directly connected to its ports and with the history of slavery. In 1502, on his fourth voyage to the New World, Christopher Columbus discovered the Bay Islands and claimed them for Spain. Over the next several years, Rotan would be caught between Spanish conquistadors and British soldiers, each trying to claim the island as their own. During this time, a majority of local inhabitants were taken off the island and forced into slavery. On February 25, 1797, English soldiers relocated 3,000 black Arab Indians from St. Vincent to Roatan, repopulating the island. Many of these Caribs, now known as the Garifuna, migrated to other Central American countries. However, Roatan's town of Punta Gorda has remained the first home of the Garifuna. I've set up a tour of Punta Gorda with the local guide in hopes of learning more about the Garifuna. Carmen is going to show me around town and introduce me to a local family. Hi. Hi. Carmen? I'm Carmen. How are you? Hi, Len. How are you? Welcome to Rotan. Thank you so much. It's so great to have you come and visit us. It's so great us. to be here. Yeah. So what are we going to do? Well, let's walk along the road and we meet some friends and some families. And okay. Probably we can have some dinner or something. Great. Lead the way. Oh, I see. So he you boiled, just mash it. He boiled green plantains. Yeah, green plantains. And then he's going to mash it with this. So what is the uh, dish called that you're making? It's called the machuca. The machuca. The shuki, yeah. It's called machuca because it's mashing. <laughs> you like the breads? They're I do. Nice. Ayla's going to mash now. <laughs> Uh oh, you gotta do it with strength, Isla. <laughs> All right. And you need to hold it on here with your feet. It's hard. You know, this is this is therapy <laughs> right here. Cyril, <laughs> 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 yeah. is he gonna eat machuca? <laughs> oh yes, two thumbs up. <laughs> Fish and coconut milk. <laughs> Mm. 
Wow, that's yeah, really good. Yeah. 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 You, you need to learn that. You're gonna yeah. think it is a sweet. These are maraca. And they use, the dancers use them. We're gonna go see the dancers shortly and learn the punta, hopefully. I hear it's hard, but uh, I'm hoping to try it at least. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Maya Key. Escape to paradise with a Mayan twist. The first word that comes to mind is incredible. It's got everything beach, animals, all in one little island. Maya Key is a private island retreat which captures the spirit of ancient Mayan culture. We want to see ruins. While bringing guests close to nature. It is absolutely paradise. On the aquamarine waters of the Caribbean Sea. I knew they would have white sand and it would be really exotic and it's beautiful. At the heart of Maya Key is an interactive wildlife rescue center. Okay, guys, like you know, all the animals here at Maya Key, they're all rescue animals. With exotic animals from both land and sea. When we saw that they had the refuge, it, it was a no-brainer. Literally, that was the reason that we booked the cruise we booked. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I love monkeys, so Very probably good. top three best moments of my life. Right. We're thinking we need more monkey time. More monkey time. <laughs> Come, enjoy Maya Key's jungle swimming pool. Two private beaches and coral reef snorkel garden. It was awesome. Yeah, We've never was... even snorkeled before, but it was amazing. Unbelievable. It was like going to an aquarium, but being in the aquarium. It was like being inside <laughs> an aquarium. Yeah, it was awesome. Maya Key. You never know if what you read is what you get, but this particular one actually exceeded our expectations. All right, guys, lunch is ready. Come and get it while it's hot. The food is great. The fish is so good. It was an unbelievable experience, something that we've been looking forward to for a year. Visit us now. You'll be glad you did. The Roatan Travel Network is made possible in part by the cooperation of our friends at Cable Calore Roatan. Honduras's largest and fastest growing communications company. Cable Calore was the first to bring fiber optic cable to Honduras and they continue to introduce innovative communication services which include digital television, internet, 
telephone, GPS tracking systems, surveillance and security for your home and business, and data transmission. By utilizing the highest quality standards, latest technology, their team of skilled employees is committed to customer service and to keeping Honduras and Roatan competitive in today's globalized world while satisfying the high demand for reliable and stable data services. Please download their free app, keyword Cable Calor Roatan, for more information, live TV guides, voting polls, online account and payments, and much more. Or stop by the Cable Calor office at the Mega Plaza in French Harbor and let them show you how they can bring the rest of the world to your front door. Hey guys, I'm Frank from Frank Cigar Bar and welcome to Roatan. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. An angel is anybody on this island that needs a little help from somebody else. And the other angels are the ones who give that help. And we have lots of them here on this island. And this is absolute paradise. I just can't live here and enjoy everything and not somehow give back. This is the only way things get done. If you want something done, you take it into your own hands, right? You organize people of like mind, you get people to put their money behind their words, and you let them have fun in the meantime. We couldn't have a better day for the festival. It's really nice to have all the local community, have all the restaurants. I hear some pretty good music in the background, the food smells like there's some pretty good stuff on the grill. What you give is so small in comparison to the camaraderie here, the enjoyment, the music, and the fact that your money is going to such a good beneficiary. The good thing about this event is it kind of raises awareness of organizations and people that are trying to do some positive things and it helps them along the way. People really do want to help and support both the clinic and Soul Foundation. The more money that we have, the more that we can put into the community and the more kids that we can help. Well, I think music's important generally because it brings a lot of people of different cultures together. It says emotionally for us what we can't say ourselves lyrically. It brings healing. And I think the angels bring healing. also the people that we are given the right to help, the, the honor to help. Sometimes you may think you're just helping someone else out in the community, but anytime you're helping anybody in your community, you're helping the whole community. So you're kind of helping yourself as well. They're all angels to me. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Roatan, it's a little paradise. It's a hidden jewel of the Caribbean. Paradise Hotels is different from the other resorts in the island because it's a friendly coexistence between nature and beaches and uh, hotel rooms. Under the umbrella of Paradise Hotels, we have Paradise Beach, their uh, Caribbean-style villa. They're trying to reminisce the relaxing part of an island, and the whole structure of the building is intended to accomplish that. And recently, we just opened uh, Oceanic. Oceanic Paradise Hotel, it's more hotel rooms. They're very spacious and all of them have their little balcony. It's just a combination of concepts in the same place, you know. Our restaurant. We have a Cayuco Bar, which is located facing the beach. We have a grill there. And we have a Il Pomodoro, which is a pizza place. We have also La Mood. Like our main uh, big restaurant, we have buffet style there too. And also we have the view bar, which is our bar and pool located in the fifth floor of Oceanic. 
you're planning to come down, the easy ways to do it is just go to our website, which is paradisehotel.com. It is so close to home if you're coming from the States. And here you'll find everything you were looking for. My name is Michelle Malone, and I just want to ask you, when are you coming to stay at Paradise? Hello, my name is Dorn Ebanks. I'm the mayor of the city of Rotan. Thanks for visiting our island and welcome to the new Rotan. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Hi guys, welcome to Top Sites Rotan. I'm Ari from Rotan Divers and today I'll be introducing you to the amazing macro critters that Rotan has to offer. While Rotan may be famous for its amazing walls and abundance of sea life, we also have a large variety of macro life. Some of our favorite macro sites are Willie's Wonder, Butcher's Bank, and Lighthouse Reef. If you're going macro hunting, it's important to have good buoyancy so you don't disturb the critters in the sand. Alright guys, let's go diving! A lot of people only focus on big things when they dive, but if you take the time to look, you'll find all sorts of interesting sea life in the sand. Check out this little pipefish. Little coral heads in the sand are the perfect place to search for macro critters. Although they don't count as macro, peacock flounders blend so well into their environment that it's hard to spot them unless they move. Take a look through the manatee grass to see if you can find the elusive pipe horse. Macro life is hiding all around the reef too. Although they are a rare sight, sometimes we get lucky and find seahorses hiding in black coral.
keep an eye out for net crabs as well. In mid to the late summer, see if you can find juvenile trunkfish, also known as peas. I hope you enjoyed our macro exploration today. Once again, I'm Ari from Roatan Divers, and we'll see you next time on Top Sites Roatan. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. One of my missions as an owner here at Tranquil Seas is that you start your vacation on the very day that you arrive. At the entrance of Tranquil Seas, we've got two beautiful blue doors. That idea is the blue wards off bad energies, uh, maybe stress. All of that stays outside. Now you're on vacation and you can get on and enjoy your vacation from the moment that you arrive. We really love this place because it is a, it's a friendly place. It is a beautiful place and, uh, you know, the view is second to none. We've got seven rooms here. We're an intimate place. There's no televisions in the room. It was awesome. Great beds, great view. And each room's got its own name. And that gives a, an individual a, approach and feel to your lodging. And hopefully it will be a memory that you'll say, oh, you know what, I went to Roatan and that room that we stayed in was really, really awesome. On site, within two minutes of every room, is our Paddy Registered Dive Center. And um, we've got the world's second largest barrier reef only a hundred yards from us. And we're able to share some phenomenal spots that nobody else really dives at. Then they're all very, very special. Sea life and the coral life here is like nothing else you'll ever see. The menu, it's island fusion. So it takes international points of cuisine and we bring them into the local ingredients. Food was great. Had seven days worth of it, never got sick of it. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yoga is um, brand new to us here at the lodge. We've got a phenomenal platform that we created. It's, it's called the Sky Deck, and we've got three certified instructors that teach all the time. Absolutely tranquil, laid back, friendly experience. Tranquil Seas is perfect for um, the quintessential island experience. Snorkeling, kayaking, paddle boarding, swimming, Relaxing, cocktails, sunbathing, hammocking, there's nothing more island style than that. Do you like what you're seeing on the Roatan Travel Network? So do most of the visitors to the island. Through local TV and our online channel, RTN enables visitors to find lots of great things to see, do, and buy while they're here or planning their trip to Roatan. I loved it because I'm here on vacation and I wanted to know what I could do, where I could take them. So I turned on the TV and boom, there was my answer. From restaurants and real estate to dive shops and hotels, RTN offers a unique, effective and inexpensive way for businesses to reach potential customers through the most powerful advertising medium on the island, television. When we saw that they had the refuge, it, it was a no-brainer. Literally, that was the reason that we booked the cruise we booked. And you get to use the video for all your other marketing needs as well. Call or email today and we'll show you how the Roatan Travel Network can help your business grow. You never know if what you read is what you get, but this particular one actually exceeded our expectations. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. The Mesoamerican Reef System starts from Quintana Roo in Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula, and it comes all the way down past Belize, past the little nook of Guatemala and onto the northern coast of Honduras. And then it, it cools down into some deeper trenches and then comes up in the Utila area, which is about 20 miles west of here. 
it's the second longest reef system in the world. I'm is very much faster. It's pretty amazing how many people benefit from the reef. In our area specifically, we benefit hugely by the tourism that the reef brings in. Also what we get is we get the protection. It's a huge protection to the coastal area. So hotels, houses, beaches, all that stuff. We wouldn't have them in the areas we have them if we didn't have the reef so close to shore to protect us. Every single square inch of that reef has a life form, has something going on. Everything there is alive, not just little creatures like crabs and shrimp and lobster, but that piece of coral is a living organism that breeds and, and multiplies every year and lays eggs and they go off and catch and start a life. If you look at something and you think, oh well, there's nothing growing there. If you look closer, there's something growing everywhere out there. It's extraordinary, you know, and you get snorkelers that go out there and they stand because they need to adjust their mask. And when you shout at them and say, get off the coral, they say, oh no, there's nothing here, it's just rocks. But it isn't. There's barnacles, there's algae, there's the whole, everything out there is covered in life. It's amazing. I can talk for hours about coral. It's the most amazing organism that's in the, in the ocean and in the Caribbean and on Rotan. And they work just like a plant. They go through photosynthesis, they create sugar, and they actually provide coral with 80% of its uh, nutrients. And that's the color that you see in coral. So when you see just this colorful rock, this colorful rock is not only an animal, but it's also a plant. So what happens when the, when the coral is not happy, it can actually kick out the zooxanthella from its tissues. And that would look like a bleached coral. Bleached coral are not dead coral, they're just coral without that microalgae in its tissue. So just a, I like to, to compare it to coral wearing clothes. Yeah? When the water is too hot, when the coral is uncomfortable, it will take its clothes off and it'll just be naked. It'll be white. So a coral that's bleached needs its stress to go away. So that's why global warming is a big issue. Um, ocean acidification is a big issue. And with those things comes the big storms. Everything is connected. As far as the Caribbean goes, we're probably one of the most underdeveloped islands. I think that's rather nice. What amazes me here is that you can drop in the water anywhere around Roatan. You don't even have to ask, is the reef here? It's, it's all around and it's all beautiful. Diving here is easy. Diving the dive sites are two to five minutes away. In your surface interval, you can come back to the beach, you can relax and find a hammock, read a book, and then go back on your next dive. I think we have over 90% of the corals in the Caribbean and, and over 90% of the coral reef fishes that, that you can see on any one dive. We have so much diversity in our dive site. We can dive and start a dive in three feet of water and then gradually slope down to get to 15, 20, 40 feet. And you can start a dive in 60 feet of water and just stay at that depth on top of the reef the entire time. We're very lucky with the diversity of diving that we have here on Rotan. I mean, we've got a lot of fish. The clouds of blue tang that we get that are so wonderful that all feed at the same time so you see them coming across the reef and it seems like they communicate with each other and suddenly all dive down and feed and then set off again all as one group. I mean, they're amazing. We're not known for our big things. So you're not going to see big sharks or mantas, but you, you are going to see lots of little things. Lots of nudibranchs, uh, different types of coral. You'll see all the sponges, bluebell tunicates, things that you, you need to have an eye and you need to go slow to see. If you go quickly, you'll miss most of our beauty on the reef. We have people who come here diving and have dived all over the world and they still say that Rotan is one of the best reefs still in the world. The Rotan Marine Park was me and a group of friends, a dive shop owner, got together about nine years ago, decided we had to do something. And, and this came about after people like me who've been out here for over 30 years saw it when it was really good and saw it as it started to be depleted 
Now we have grown, you know, it's, it's pretty big, it's pretty strong. And uh, more and more members is coming on, more and more diving, dive businesses and dive communities is backing us. I think we're gaining ground. I think education is key to a lot of what we've got to get done here. We've got to educate people. And, and people are starting to pay attention. We're starting to get people ears. And, and we're finding more and more volunteers, local people who step up and say, yeah, let's do this. We're working hard on reducing plastic use throughout the island recommended reusable shopping bags and we're meeting with uh, big store owners now that is coming on board to help us put those in place. I do like uh, working for the Rotan Marine Park. It's a fun place. We, the team that we have up there, we work really well together. We work hand in hand with the government and they, they help us out. We also were responsible for all the marine infrastructure in the marine protected area, so the mooring lines, the channel markers, things that keep people safe going in and out of the reef day and night. The Marine Park is the only organisation here that really does actively help protect the reef. When the Marine Park first set up, uh, we were funded by the dive shops, but that seemed to be a very limited way of getting funds. And so what we did was um, produce a bracelet, like in so many other places in the world, where you have to pay to enter into a marine park. Um, so we produced the $10 weekly bracelets and the $3 daily bracelets. The bracelets are very important income for the marine park, and without them, I think the marine park would probably have to close. So it would be lovely if every tourist that came here, even if they aren't divers, even if they're just snorkelers, to buy a $10 bracelet, it would really help out with, with protecting what we have here. The, the environmentally friendly way you can help is just be smart. Don't touch the reef when you go diving. Don't stand on the reef when you're going snorkeling. If you see anything that's really pretty, take a picture and don't take it home. I think the marine park are doing a great job. I think we've got some fish that you used to hardly ever see. Um, some of the huge parrotfish um, that you see much more now. The turtles are amazing out there. I mean, uh, there's never been this many turtles on this since I've lived here on this stretch of reef out here. I feel like there's a generation of people now that is coming up that 10 years from now is going to be doing things more sustainable. And uh, I think 10 years from now we will be in a better place. Uh, because more people will be realizing that uh, we can all reduce our carbon footprint. I'm hoping that the whole planet will be in a better place. This is the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Las Verandas Hotel and Villas is one of the most luxurious resorts on the island. It's as nice as anywhere we've ever been. Well, I think it's kind of untouched. It's very raw. Grounds are beautiful. You have all these amenities. It's two hours from Houston. The water, the pool, the sound of the ocean. Of course, the beach is beautiful. We're having a great time. We really enjoy the food, the lobster and shrimp. Chef Christina is amazing. She was trained in Italy, so it's always delicious. We now have both restaurants open, plenty of variety. And this is our third trip down, so we obviously haven't tired of any of that. When guests arrive at Las Verandas Hotel and Villas, they will either be staying in one of our luxury hotel rooms or a private villa, which range from two to five bedrooms. This is the second time that we've stayed here. And it's just beautiful. The other morning there was a rainbow out over the ocean. It's gorgeous. The villas are beautifully appointed. I have a design background in Houston, so I kind of know what, what stuff should be like, and they did a beautiful job. Las Verandas Hotel and Villas is located inside Pristine Bay, which is a luxury gated community with the only golf course on the island. They call it where you mix the best greens with the best blues. I mean, having the golf course offers a completely different dimension than just a beach place. It's a good course, it's a peak dye design, short course played 15 holes this morning. And I've got three kids, my wife and I, and we all have something we like about it. Obviously it's a great diving spot. 
The dive master does everything. My gear magically appears on the boat. There we are, one of the best reefs in the world. It's just nice and peaceful and serene. I love it here. It's so amazing and beautiful. Las Verandas Hotel and Villas caters to the most discerning guests looking for luxury and quality service. You can bring the Roa 10 Travel Network home with you and share it with your friends. Just log on to Roa 10 Travel Network.com and take your vacation with you. Welcome to the island. You're watching the Roetan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Hello, this is Derek and Jessica, and we are from Midlothian, Texas. Welcome to Roetan. You're watching the Roetan Travel Network. Welcome to the island.
My name is William Trubridge and I'm the world record holder in unassisted freediving and world champion freediving. Freediving allows you to experience the underwater world on its own terms. You're free to move and three dimensions go up and down um, and move quickly and agilely. Your bubbles don't scare away the, the, the fish. And also you feel like you're becoming an aquatic creature yourself. You feel more integrated into the underwater world. On my rest days or um, after training, I often go back out to the reef and snorkel and um, watch the little fishes or play with the turtles or just cruise down into a sandy spot on the bottom of the, of the reef and um, lie there and, and experience being underwater. That's the foundation for my passion for the sport. As far as competitive freedivers go, yeah, there's thousands of us, for sure. I think there's just in this competition somewhere in the range of 30 competitors. At the Team World Competition in Nice, France in 2012, there was, I think, 180 competitors. My name is Esteban Darampé and I am the organizer of the Caribbean Cup Rotan Freediving Competition. The first year it was very hard because uh, when I start to promote the freediving and nobody knows what it is, first I have to explain them what is freediving and then uh, who cares about it. Right? Welcome to the Caribbean Cup Freediving Competition 2014. Uh, the name of the tournament is the Caribbean Cup and uh, it's one of the most important competitions for ADA because this area in the world is a potential growth area. And the last year it was a little bit smaller, now it's a little bit bigger and I can imagine that when we are dealing with these kind of conditions it's, it will be a bigger next year. Rotang is beautiful reef near from the shore and very deep water and this is unique. There are few places in the world to do that, with the reef, with the blue deep water, in front of the hotel and in front of the logistics. This is important. This is a nice, beautiful island and there was no much freediving before. And the goal is to develop freediving in this area. These kind of conditions, what we have available here, it can't be better. It's like a dream for these competitors. Rotan is a unique island in the Caribbean in that it has a, a one side of the island with very sheer drop-offs to great depth um, and the trade winds come from the other side meaning that, that that deep side is very calm and very clear waters and very little current. So it's, it's ideal for freediving but it also has a lot of other different attractions um, that appeal to freedivers. Um, you can go shark diving, swimming with dolphins, the turtles. It has a very well-managed marine park that means that the coral reef system is very well populated and the snorkeling here is amongst the best in the world. It's our responsibility as being part of the island to promote the island and to pull more events into this island, to pull more people to the island, to continue to let the island grow. So bringing more people here, getting more involved with our island and sponsoring big events like this just brings more attention to the island that in the future will grow business for this island. Well, there are different levels of sponsorship, from small hotels to big resorts like us, and other ones have uh, helped out in the logistics, lodging people, lodging judges, and also with the uh, Lionfish Cook-Off, I think that also helps a lot to get the word out about what we do in order to protect the reef and help out the divers. The whole event takes eight days. The first day we have the open ceremony, where we explain all the competitors, the logistics for the competition days, and then the second day start the competition. In this competition, uh, there's a three different disciplines. Constant weight with the fins and without fins. It means with diving with the fin or without, as deep you can, take a tag and come back on the surface. The third discipline is the free immersion where they can uh, drag from the rope and go as deep they can and go back on the surface. There you can't use the fins in your feet, neither. It is quite hard. It's a demanding sport and it takes not only physical 
fitness, but it also takes uh, mental power and ability to relax in any conditions. My personal best in, in diving down with a fin is 128 meters and in diving without fins it's 93 meters. With a fin, 128 meters, it's world record. Without fins, uh, I'm still 8 meters behind, so I'll try to get closer. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. The Boss Underwater Scooter is very unique. There are only a, a handful of places in the world that have something like this. Basically, it's an underwater, motorized, submersible scooter. That was a blast. That was so fun. Something different. Something I've never really uh, seen before. It's incredible. I recommend everybody to do it. You absolutely do not need to know how to scuba dive to do this activity. You don't even know, need to know how to snorkel. Um, we have non-swimmers, people who have never even been in the ocean. We've had people well into their 80s and 90s, and we have kids as young as 10 years old. I had a great time there, and um, yes, I did have lots of fun. The Boss on a Rotor Scooter is incredibly safe. Well, this is our first time doing anything like this, and they took really good care of my kids. We do a briefing so that everyone understands how the scooters work. So once we get out to our dive site, we lower the scooters into the water, and all you have to worry about doing is hang on to the back of the helmet and duck your head under very quickly. It's just a one second, hold your breath, and you're ready to go. It's really easy and fun. Once you're in your scooter and comfortable, a diver will go ahead and bring your scooter down to maximum depth, which is about eight feet. And once everyone is down, we have everyone hold hands and line up, and it's a guided tour from there. All you have to do is push one button to go and follow the leader. It was pretty crazy. A lot of colorful fish and all the marine life and the coral. It's all moving with the waves. It's awesome. It's like being on the open road down there. There's a lot of fish, a lot of coral. I uh, saw a sea turtle. It was just a great experience. We have a professional underwater photographer who works with us as well and she offers photo packages for our guests. I never thought I'd be doing that in my life. It was a really unique experience and I'd love to do it again. That was pretty amazing. If I ever come back, I'll definitely do this again. Ocean Connections is located in West End and it's easy to either stop into our shop and make a reservation or you can call or email us. It was great. I recommend this uh, tour to whoever comes out here. This is a nice little treat. I'm Lisa from Fresh Bakery, located in Alba Plaza, and welcome to Roatan. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. If I had to put an arbitrary percentage on it, I would say that the sport is at least 90% mental, because it's a lifestyle. It's not just something that you do on the weekends. If you're going to be really, really good at it, you have to change the way you eat, you have to change the way that you think, you have to change the way that you sleep and just really devote it to, uh, to free diving. Now William has this down to a science. He uh, has dedicated his life in a big way to free diving and um, has figured out a lot of little nuances such as he doesn't think because it consumes oxygen. Before a free dive, you need to enter a space where you're relaxed so that you're consuming less oxygen. And also, um, as much as possible, slowing down the constant chatter of rational thoughts um, so that the mind becomes relaxed as well. Your mind, as an organ, uh, only weighs 2% of your body weight, but it consumes 20% of your available oxygen. So if you can slow down that process, then uh, you can gain a lot more oxygen, which you can use to propel yourself down and up you could call it meditative state, just through using breathing, um, trying to regulate the breathing, but not trying to do too much because if you breathe too deeply or too regularly, you can actually get rid of too much carbon dioxide, which also makes the dive dangerous. Last November, 
A good friend of ours, Nick Mavoli, died Five, four, at the competition. And so there's not a day that goes by now that makes me think it's time to tighten up. There have been times, maybe before the dive, uh, where I've thought, is this quite right? Do I have the safety that I need in place? Do I feel comfortable? And I thought to myself, I've got Ani, I've got Ren, this is insane. And then, like a cloud, you let that thought go because it can't consume you. It is a dangerous activity if you don't have safety first. If you have proper safety, then it's quite safe. In the last 20 years, there were very little number of accidents compared to other sports. As a competitive sport, I don't feel that freediving is really that dangerous. We've only had one fatality in uh, all competitions uh, for freediving in the last 20 years. What we have is a counterweight system where a lanyard uh, with a carabiner attaches you to the descent rope. So you can see if a diver stops moving and then the counterbalance system is activated which pulls the descent line up with the diver attached to it. So it's a very efficient system um, that can bring a diver to the surface quickly but despite that it's never actually needed to be used in the competition because if you're going to run out of oxygen it's going to be towards the end of the dive where the safety free divers who come down to meet you and escort you in the last 20 or 30 meters they can collect you and, and bring you back to the surface very easily. Where it is dangerous is when people train by themselves or go spearfishing by themselves. And there, if you just do a small miscalculation and um, black out on the surface or, or very close to the surface, in 100% of cases, it's fatal because no one is around to, uh, to hold you up at the surface. So as long as it's done in the kind of conditions that we have here at the uh, Caribbean Cup in Rotan, then I feel it's a very, very safe sport and it's at the reach of pretty much anyone. It's changed a lot in all my, my career. My first world record was 93 meters, then 102, and then 105. Now the record is 128 meters from Alexei. Alexei Molkanov is um, my main rival at the moment. He has the world record in constant weight. Um, and he's also very strong in, in the other two disciplines. But we're also um, good friends. I really enjoy his company. He's a great guy, very likeable, um, as well as being an incredible athlete. So it's, it's good to have him here as well at this event this year, and I think it's going to be exciting. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Barefoot Key is a luxury boutique resort. It's private, it's secluded, it's an oasis. They call it a resort. I call it an unresort. Barefoot Key's slogan is a world apart, otro mundo aparte. It means, you know, you come here, you relax. The resort is located on a two and a half acre private key, and we have luxury villas right on the beach. What impresses the guests when they get here is the tropical atmosphere. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. We also have a beautiful marina and we have a gourmet restaurant on site. The food's excellent. We don't leave anything to chance. All of our beachfront accommodations are just steps from the Caribbean. We have luxury bath products in the bathroom. We have Balinese showers. Uh, all of the beds are heavenly brand luxury beds with their luxury linens as well. We have Wi-Fi in all of the units and there's Wi-Fi all over the resort. Each of the rooms has a flat screen TV with Apple TV and access to Netflix. The kitchen's incredible. You couldn't believe how much cooking utensils are in there. People love coming back here and say they feel like they're coming back home. It's a wonderful island. We have many things to offer to our guests. The reef is just a few minutes away and we have a Patty Five Star Dive Center on site. It's ballet dive service, so we do the work and you have the fun. We didn't have to carry anything ever. The spa is pretty special. We have full body treatments, scrubs and wraps and all those kinds of things. It's completely different from anything else you'll find in Roatan. It's so easy to get here from North America. 
There are direct flights that are only two to three hours in length from Houston, Dallas, Atlanta, and Miami. It's an escape. We are all about customer service here and we're all about providing an exemplary experience for all of our guests. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. And I don't think I've had a better experience anywhere in the world. I'm uh, Carl Stanley of Stanley Submarines and here with Ida Bell, the deepest diving submersible in the world the public can dive on. Welcome to Roatan. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. So the dive starts with that last final breath where I try and get as much air into the lungs as possible. There is a technique which we call packing. So it's a quite dangerous technique if you use it without any knowledge, but you need to do this for deep diving. Packing is a special technique which allows you to get more air than you usually can get with normal full inhale. So you have full inhale, then you use your mouth as a pumping machine basically. So you pump more air into your lungs with your, using your different muscles and then you go down. In the beginning of the descent, you're working to overcome your body's buoyancy. So your lungs are completely full and you have to swim hard to get down off the surface. But as you descend, your lungs compress and that means your body loses buoyancy so it becomes easier and easier to descend. To the point where at around 15 meters, um, you surpass neutral buoyancy and become negative, which means that you, you sink even if you don't do anything. And at 25 meters, I'd stop swimming and the rest of the descent is completely in what we call the free fall, just motionless um, and allowing your gravity to pull you uh, to the maximum depth. A lot of people would describe, you know, the sensations as so peaceful and so relaxed. It's meditative and it's all about the free fall. Once you get into free fall, it's so awesome. Then, when you get into the sink phase, for me, equalization. I'm focusing on equalizing, not missing an equalization, not losing my mouth fill, this big, full mouth of air that I have to push into my middle ear. And then I'm trying not to freak out because it's scary. To just think about the ocean reaching up, grabbing you and pulling you down to depth and pulling you and pulling you. And you know, you feel your body just speeding up as you start to sink. Then you reach the end of the line, there is a, a lot of tags on the bottom, so you just get one and pull, do one pull to help you turn and go back up. Here we're at the maximum negative buoyancy, so your body is very heavy and you need to work very hard to reclaim the surface. In fact, the ascent is a lot more difficult than the, the descent because almost all the way up, you're working to overcome your negative buoyancy. Uh, it's not until the last few meters that you, your lungs re-expand to the original volume and you can drift those last few meters to the surface. If it was a good dive, then there's uh, a rush of endorphins after the dive, um, a relief sensation. Um, but um, in difficult dives, it takes some time before you're kind of fully recovered. Um, there's a lot of panting after the dive. If you can imagine that you've been up to four minutes or more without breathing, but still exerting yourself physically, all the carbon dioxide, all the lactic acid that you produce has to come out after the dive. And so it takes a lot of vigorous breathing to achieve that. Um, but uh, once it all sinks in, if it's a good dive, then there's definitely a, a big sense of relief and, and um, elation after. That's a very, very good question because they are dealing with the big risks. It's not about the money. There's no money in freediving. It's hard to put my finger on why I compete. Sure, it's fun, but it's not always fun. A lot of times it's super stressful. A lot of times you're really tired. A lot of times you're so tense, you know, and just constantly, mentally, having to talk yourself off the cliff. Uh, it gets consuming, but it's really addictive. Every time you go in the water, there's a chance that you can come out better than when you went in. I've been an athlete my whole life, and I've never been a part of a sport where I'm constantly breaking through personal barriers like that. 
freediving, it's just you. And so that's kind of a good feeling too, to know, hey, this is what I'm made of when pushed to the limit. I started freediving because I love to compete. I also love the side of freediving, connected with traveling and all these locations and different seas and oceans. So it's both. It's competing and traveling and nice like lifestyle. People see what we're doing in competitions and it seems extreme um, and unimaginable to some people. But anyone can go into the water and hold their breath and um, experience being underwater and it's a sensation that you don't experience in any other activity or walk of life because everything else we do is in the air element unless you're an astronaut. Anyone can try freediving. Um, you don't have to go very deep. You can just hold your breath for a few seconds and duck under the water and, and that's freediving. I love freediving because I can be a true explorer in the space of the water. Uh, not only exploring the depths is exploring myself and connecting the natural environment with me. It's a direct connection. It's a state of mind that put me in a different level. And everybody can do that, because this is not only for champions. Everybody that has some water near can do free diving and can explore that uh, connection. And it's a beautiful sport, it's a beautiful activity, and it's very safe. And then free diving, motivate you to be more healthy person and try to do yoga, improve your breathing techniques and this is good not only for free diving, this is good for your life. You learn how to hear your body and this is nice for everybody. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Imagine yourself flying through a tropical forest with a bird's eye view of the earth below. It does, it feels like you're flying, but safely. <laughs> South Shore Zipline Adventures offers you the opportunity to do that and more. It feels like you're Superman. It's the perfect mix of excitement and tranquility. I've never been skydiving, but if I did, I'm pretty sure it'd be something close to this. South Shore Zipline Adventures was created by one of Roatan's oldest families as a way for visitors to experience the many secrets of this wonderful island. It is just so beautiful. It feels like you're a bird and you just get a bird's eye view of everything, so it's, it's wonderful. The zipline tour consists of 11 steel cables, strung at various heights through the island's beautiful and remote eco-preserve, Cahoon Ridge. It's kind of an adrenaline rush, especially the first couple where you don't know what to expect, and then it's just pure fun. <laughs> no experience is necessary. I can't tell you how fun. It was wonderful. After a quick training session, off you go. I'm 80. Everybody do it. <laughs> If you'd prefer to enjoy the magic of Roatan from the ground, South Shore Zipline Adventures Eco Walkway offers nature trails like no other. 
It was very peaceful. It was great walking through the natural area here in the hills. And our eight suspension bridges are the longest and strongest in the Western Caribbean. It was really pretty and beautiful. I like swaying on the bridges. <laughs> South Shore Zipline Adventures is fun for eco explorers of all ages and physical abilities. Do I look like I'm in great shape? <laughs> our tours feature English speaking guides, and all our gear is safety certified to North American standards. It was just a wonderful experience to be here with the family, a safe tour. The young men that helped us were wonderful. From the moment you arrive, South Shore Zipline Adventures offers an island experience like no other. Fue excelente. It was awesome. Stop by and say hello. We're on the west end of the island, just a few minutes from West Bay Beach. Yeah, we had a great time today. It was probably the best thing we've done the whole time we've been gone. Book your visit now at SouthShoreZipline.com and add miles of smiles to your vacation. You can bring the Aurora Tank Travel Network home with you and share it with your friends. Just log on to RoyaTanTravelNetwork.com and take your vacation with you. Welcome to the island. Hi guys, welcome to Top Sites Roton. I'm Ari from Roton Divers and today we'll be taking you to the seamounts of Cayos Cochinos. The seamounts of Cayos Cochinos are located 18 miles off the northwestern point of Roatan. Since we don't have the island to protect us from the winds out there, the trips to the seamounts can be very weather dependent. The seamounts can have strong currents and extend deep, so you need to be an experienced diver with qualifications past the open water certification depth to dive in. Alright guys, let's go diving! While the seamounts are less protected against strong current than diving directly off of Roatan, you get an enormous payoff with the big schools of fish feeding in the current. Schools of barracuda, triggerfish, and jacks are in abundance along the top of the mount. There's a big school of Atlantic spadefish that like to hang out at around 30 meters. Look at how amazing they look! The coral quality on the seamounts is excellent with an abundance of fan coral and sea rods. If you 
you are lucky, you get to meet a very friendly nurse shark. Keep an eye out for Jack's hunting for schooling silver sides. You can finish your dive by drifting along the shallowest part of the mount. Hope you guys enjoyed the dive to the seamounts of Cayos Cochinos. I'm Ari from Rotan Divers and we'll see you next time on Topsides Rotan. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. My name is Steve Has. Welcome to Lawson Rock. Lawson Rock has many amenities. There are three community swimming pools, 2,600 feet of beach, a restaurant, on-site management, paved roads, and everything you'd want in the community. For people looking to make Roatan their home, Lawson Rock is a great choice. We have a lot of options here in Lawson Rock. Condos, homes, home sites, resale homes, and even commercial properties to put a business. Roatan's an amazing investment location. Property's very affordable with direct flights from Dallas, Houston, and Miami. We're only two hours away from the USA. Roatan is how the rest of the Caribbean used to be 10 or 20 years ago. We have amazing weather. I mean, it's almost always sunny. Great beaches, diving, a wide variety of restaurants, lots of events, and a fun, active expat community. Overall, Roatan's a great place to invest and call home. Lawson Rock has been so successful because everything's in place to make it the ideal community. In many places in the Caribbean, security is an issue. At Lawson Rock, you're 100% safe. Residents at Lawson Rock include active retirees, young families, and people who just want to call Roatan home for a couple of months a year. With Lawson Rock's on-site management, it's easy to come and go as you please and know your investment is safe. Lawson Rock is conveniently located in Sandy Bay. It's just a few minutes from the airport, and the other way, just a few minutes from West End. Rotan Life has both its real estate sales division and also the vacation rentals and property management offices here at Lawson Rock. To find out more about Lawson Rock, contact us at our email address of sales at rotanlife.com or our website, www.lawsonrock.com, or call me, Steve, at 9959-8033. We hope to hear from you soon. Come home to Lawson Rock. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Well, this is a school. It's called the Island Academy of Roatan. It's the newest school on the island. It was created by four parents who decided that we needed a school here, which we're going to start completely from scratch. We're building a school. Today we have a team of Diamonds International here in Roatan, and they come here to do volunteer work. This is the second Friday they've been coming to paint and varnish uh, the wood that will be used for the tables and the playground and the chairs. So today we're helping out this school, there's about 18 of us here, we're painting each of the rooms, we're tidying up, we're working in the playground and we're getting this place safe for the opening that's going to be on the 18th of August. 
We're doing a really good job and we're wanting to clean up the place so that the students, well, when they come here, they can take pride in their school and understand what a clean and tidy school is and bring it home with them, hopefully. Right now we have enrolled uh, 38 kids for sure. We are aiming to have uh, not more than 60. We run on a small school level basis, but uh, more kids come, we'll be happy to host them here. So I'm happy to tell you that our Calvert curriculum is here on the island. Our kids have now books, brand new curriculum to start a brand new school, Island Academy. The Calvert curriculum was developed in Maryland around 80 some years ago. It was developed for parents that will just get on the sailboat and take their kids and they don't want to miss their education. But they, it was such a well-made system in which we take the manuals, that us teachers take the manuals that a parent will take and we will give the information down to the kids in social studies, science, math, language, spelling, grammar, and it's a very complete package. Our accomplishment is to give the kids a U.S. curriculum with a Honduran curriculum for kids to have that duality of education. Hand in hand with our Spanish curriculum, it will get the kid the opportunity to make an option. Do I want to go apply to a scholarship and go to the States, go to Canada, stay in Honduras? I mean, we just want to make sure kids have, after school, they have options. a lot of money on buying the curriculum and most of our money comes with fundraising events that we make. Last year we started fundraising for this curriculum, this year we still need to fundraise and hoping to get donations because it was a big, big investment that the school has to You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Tropic Air is the only airline which offers daily direct flights from Roatan to Belize City. From there, it's an easy connection to locations throughout Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, and North America. We are also a convenient link to all the major U.S. carriers flying daily into and out of Belize City. Tropic Air has been in business for over 30 years and has grown into the largest and most experienced airline in Belize with over 200 daily scheduled flights. Not only can we fly you to your next excursion, we can also guide you on the journey as Tropic Air now offers many exciting all-inclusive tours and adventure travel options. So whether you need to travel from Roatan to Cancun or Merida, or from Roatan to the United States, Tropic Air can get you there inexpensively, quickly, and most importantly, safely. Tropic Air is here to help you make the most out of your vacation. Please contact us at tropicair.com and we'll show you Central America like no one else. Tropic Air, the official airline of Belize. Welcome to Roatan and help us protect our reef. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Everett. I'm from the Mix Max Cardio Gym in West Bay, and we're going to be participating in the Extreme Rotan today. Extreme Rotan! Extreme Rotan is it's kind of an extreme running event that includes um, natural obstacles, man-made obstacles, uh, but it's really just about everyone getting out, um, running around, having a good time, and a bit of fun. Everything's gonna be super good, we're gonna be easy to do, 
everyone's gonna have fun, everyone's gonna get dirty, so <laughs> I know what you're coming here for if you're not ready to get dirty. <laughs> we are here for the mud, the fun, and the challenge. I have three goals. First one is to finish. Second one is to finish without hurting myself. And the third one is to do the best I can. I'm Betty Sala and I'm representing Flex Appeal from French Harbor. The event's for everyone. So we've had, um, we've had some you know, kids, 16, 17, 18. We've had um, hardcore athletes who run the course twice. And we've had a lot of people who just want to come and do something. It's five kilometers on mud and obstacles. It's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. But we're here to support our team. So we're not trying to leave anybody behind. We're not trying to prove ourselves with anybody. You know, we're just here to have fun. We're the Galaxy Wing! Extreme Mountains! This is not a race. It's just about everyone getting to the finish line in one piece. Everyone ready? One, two, three, let's go! <laughs> the event's all about participation. Um, there is no prizes, we're not tracking times. It's all about starting it and finishing it. Anyone can do it. You can walk, run, crawl. Um, it's all about participation. I saw a picture of a rope apparatus. <laughs> that, made, that worries me a little bit, yes. I don't know if I'm worried. I think it excites me a little bit, but I think it challenges. It'll, It'll be fun. fun. It'll be fun. The course is a lot more challenging than people think. Um, there's a lot of up and down hills. There's a lot of man-made obstacles that take you through mud and water. And there's some other ones where we're going over small hills. You've got to pull yourself up with rope. Uh, there's a pool of water as well. There's spots you've got to crawl through on your belly, basically, under um, boards and under, under wood and so forth. Um, and there's some other spots you've got to climb over tires. There's lots of bits and pieces. It was tough. It was tougher than I thought it was going to be. I wish I was a little bit more informed, but that's my fault. Next time I'll be ready. The deepness of the mud pit. <laughs> Once we got into it, it was like we're like in a mob hanger. <laughs> Happy I did it, happy I'm finished. Now I can say I've done it. The events also, I hope people see it as a social event. It's about getting the fire brigade here. We had Pirates rugby team. We had um, clinic restaurants of people, volunteers who are also participating. And it's a great way for everyone to get together and mix. I enjoyed it. Um, it was difficult, but I'm proud that I did it. It was fun, and since I'm 70 years old, I thought this would be would really be a neat experience because I'm a retired Marine Corps major, so I wanted to have a new experience and see what challenge I could make of it and, and do for myself. And it turned out really good. For me, Extreme Roller Town has been a success, um, and that's mainly because the people I see when they finish are happy and they've had a great time. I can do it. It's good. It's really good. Good. good job. Yeah. A lot of work, but um, it's been really positive to see how much fun everyone had. Um, so many people finishing the course, the first thing they say is, when are we doing it again? So that makes, I guess, all the work worthwhile. So. It was very fun. It was very hard, but it was the best. I'll do it again next year. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. The Roatan Travel Network would like to thank our sponsors. Lawson Rock, Blue Harbor Arboretum, Mayan Princess, Roatan Life, Anthony's Key Resort, Paradise Hotels, South Shore Zipline Adventures, Ocean Connections, and the Boss Underwater Scooter. Las Verandas Hotel and Villas.
Barefoot Key Resort, Pristine Bay, Tranquil Seas, Subway Water Sports, Turquoise Bay, Maya Key, and Tropic Air. Stop by and let them know you heard about their business on the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. My name is Amanda. I work at Cindy's Place and welcome to Roatan. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. 